What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today I got my guy with me, Dominic Williams. So Welcome up, to the show, bro. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So let's talk. Where you from? You from Tacoma, Washington, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's what's being a professional player was always your dream growing up. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a dream of mine because the guys I hung, hang around and the people I surround myself by, they're all basketball players growing up and. Being the smallest guy, I always wanted to achieve that goal. And just with hard work and dedication, I got here from being around my big bros in the town, Avery Bradley, Abdul Gaddy, Isaiah Thomas. Okay, and then Stapak Jakarta is your first professional team, right? Yeah, yeah. So, this is your second season with Stapak. What do you like the most about this organization that you're willing to come back and play a game for them? Um, what I like about the most about this organization is the players, the teammates, my owners, my coaches, everybody just, they they bring you in like a family. So that's that's the biggest thing to me is them taking care of you. You They, they respect you as a, as a person. So with that being said, I want, I'll come back to Staff Act just because of the love they show. So last week, uh, we had the news that Nate Brownfield was released by Staff Act yeah, yeah. I know you and Nate were good friends and had the, developed a good chemistry. How tough is it uh, to go through this process uh, as a player? As a player, it's tough because me and Nate, like you said, we had a bond. We got real close to each other. He'll be a friend forever. Um, I can always call him. He can call me. Uh, it's going to be tough, but I mean, it's a business and by business people. So it is what it is. He knows, he knows the game and that's my guy. So now we have, you guys have Corey White. Yeah, yeah. And how's your chemistry with Corey White so far? I know he just came like, what, two, like a week ago, something yeah, like yeah. that? I mean, our chemistry is getting better each and every day. I mean, all we can do is try to learn from each other and learn each other's game quick before the next series. And I mean, the last couple of days have been, been good. So, so I feel like he'll be an okay fit for us. So let's go talk about the guy that I'm wearing the jersey, yeah, yeah, Isaiah yeah. Thomas. You yeah. and Isaiah Thomas is like family. Yeah. He even told me that you got a room in his house. Yeah. So can you uh, tell us, share the story about how did you and Isaiah get really close? Uh, I mean, his mom and I mean, not his, his mom, his dad is very close to my mom. Okay. And he's been always been a role model to me before I before I even met Isaiah. And he took me underneath his wing, like man. I want to mentor this guy, and ever since I was probably like sixth grade, maybe fifth or sixth grade, he just took me underneath his wing, and I always looked up to Isaiah. And he stuck to his word and picked me up every day, just go to the gym, and now that he's an NBA player, so even in college, just he's just a big brother to me, and I'm and I'm and I'm very blessed to be to be that guy. And Isaiah just always he's always been there for me since day one. Any anything I needed, everything I asked for. He got me, and I'm blessed to have Isaiah in my corner, and that's a big bro. I mean, like, I met him last month. Yeah. Really humble guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for a star as big as him, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, he's really nice guy. So what is what is it like to hang out with him, like, almost every day, and then learning from a guy like Isaiah Thomas? Man, I get to see this. I get to see this lifestyle. I get to see everything, a lot of stuff that a normal person wouldn't see. And being how, me, how close we are together is just, it's just good vibe, good friendship. It's just we try to we try to get each other better. We give each other advice. You know what I mean? Because we both are basketball players, but just off the court too. Just the relationship that we have is just it's just a blessing to me. Just to have somebody in that you see him him grow from 60th pick to being a superstar. So it's just it's just a blessing. Uh, did you guys ever play one on one? Yeah, we, we we used to we play. We got have our battles, man. I'm still. I'm so close to beating him, man. <laughs> so close. We 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 do a game called uh, one on one. You get three dribbles to score. Only three dribbles. Three dribbles. And he, man, he's 
he's the best little guy in the world, so it's mean it's gonna be tough, but yeah. He, he always give you that step back. Man, he give me a lot, he give me a lot of moves, man. Yeah. But did you ever beat him though? I think I beat we played we played three spots. I definitely okay. won out of the three. Once out of the three at least. Out of the three. Yeah, but he, he always comes on top. That's big bro. So do you, do you even travel with him during this break and be a regular season when you're not playing? When I'm not playing, yeah, he take care of me. Whatever game I want to go to, whatever I want to do, I just ask him and he, he makes it happen for me. Uh, like I said, I got a room at his house. He takes care of me and anything I anything I ever ask for, he always he always got my back. Hey, everybody knows that. He coach with Isaiah. Oh, and yeah, even yeah. if you work out with Isaiah, does it add more pressure to you? Like, I mean, not pressure. It just makes me stay on my game. Okay. He makes me go harder. He makes me... He makes me prepare for anything, like, because I know guys are coming at me just because I'm Isaiah's little bro, so that just makes me stay ready, like, I'm not going back down just because of, of anything. He makes sure to always stay ready, and that's what I did. I, I didn't get a call from ASPAC for a year and eight months. I never got a professional job, so, I mean, and he always just, just stay on the grind, stay humble, and just, just wait for your opportunity. So does Isaiah watch you play in the idea? Yeah, I mean, when he when he's up. So I tell him all our games, he, he watches either the live game or the, the after after run. So, so he probably knows a little bit about Indonesian basketball then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he definitely knows about the idea. Yeah. I, I talk to him about it all the time. So Isaiah changed his number to number three. Yeah. And you wearing number three. Just Isaiah wore number four yeah. uh, last season with, with the Celtics. Yeah. Is he copying you or something? Nah, I don't know. He's not copying me. I, don't, I just think he... Uh, that's the only number he could pick during Cleveland, so. Oh, because I think number four is. And that's the best is, number. I think number four is uh, Iman Shumper, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's why he got to wear number three. So what does it take? Let's go back. Now, last question. Go back to Stapak Jakarta. Yeah, yeah. What does it take for Stapak Jakarta to win IBL championship? Uh, just all of us being on one page and just everybody focusing. We, we had the talent. We got the coaching staff. It's just everybody be on one page and be dialed in before that game and just get it done. I mean, we got we got great players, a great atmosphere. And just just being focused and just being prepared to go out there and win every game. That's all. So thank you, bro, for the oh, thank you, bro. Interview. Thank you, thank you, bro. I really appreciate Trash it. Trash talk. Everybody <laughs> go follow the page. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. We can hang out again in summer league because I saw you in summer oh, yeah, league. I'm definitely going to be in summer league. Hopefully, I'm playing in summer league. Hopefully, hopefully man. Hopefully, hopefully with the cap, too. Oh, so, somebody, somebody. That's it. So, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Guys, don't forget to follow Dominic Williams on Instagram at, at Domwell2. At Domwell2. So, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.